Like, the other ones look like hoochie mamas in their second outfit, and like, this looks like, I'm gonna go to work. Hey guys, I'm Mick. I'm Mike. Thank you so much for hanging out with us today and joining us for the conclusion of the Bratz Collector doll reviews. The last one, Miss Yasmeen. Woo! Hence the pinstripe blazer that I'm wearing. Look I kind of you. like got inspired from her second ensemble here. Oh, I didn't even notice. I was looking yeah, at her real one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's looking cute. I can't wait to get this out of the packaging. Everyone knows Yasmeen is my favorite. We're gonna, yeah, throw her back to our first ever, throw, throw, not throw only back. our first ever Bratz review, but our first ever Mick and Mike review. Ever. Was Yasmeen. Ever. Designed by. Designed by Yasmeen. So here is her. Lovely self in this beautiful packaging. Packaging's amazing. And then the beautiful Hayden Williams' artwork at the front. And then at the side, you can see this beautiful detail cut through that you can see the entire outfits. So it's really nicely done. And at the back, you have both Yasmin in her first outfit and her second outfit, which we can't wait to get her into. Shoes and then, are a little different, shoes, but we're not going to get too always, much into that. Ooh, yeah, them missing straps. <laughs> um, so here we have Hayden Williams' biography, um, just so you get to know more about this great illustrator. And now we will read her beautiful bio. Hi, I'm Yasmin, but my friends call me Pretty Princess because I royally rule. My fashion passion is earthly vintage and free-spirited. I might be a bit shy, but my regal style reigns supreme. Super cute. I have to say, from the 2015 girls, I love their character developments in the web series. I know you're I a fan to, like, of all this like so web series love them stuff. So like, much. I know. So yes, I do have a soft spot for the re-release in 2015 that I know a lot of people don't like, but that's okay. That's okay. There's room for them all. We're gonna start getting her out. Give her to me. Give her to me. No, never. Give her to me. Take her out. Okay, now I cannot forget. All the tape, please. I All of it. I forgot last time, I don't understand. All of it. I don't understand why. Or to get our trusty little bustier out, because I need to dress it. Did I get all the tape? I think so. I yes. did. I did. It takes you it four took, times. Yeah, it took me four, but... So we're gonna have the... Oh no, I didn't. I uh, again, just one piece. Mother... God. Oh, why? There's the poster. I have four of these now. Well, one is gonna go to Mike's. So again... Lovely poster. She's the only one that comes with a gold compact. Yeah, and her brush is gold. So I'm a little constricted in this blazer. <laughs> but here she is. Love that the color palette is really unique to her. It's like a really bright pink lip and a smoky eye. And she has beautiful kind of really light brown wavy hair. And it seems really thick. That's really nice. So I'm excited to see what it's gonna look like without the hat. And it's not shedding too much. She comes with really pretty gold hoop earrings. Again, her th color theme is like super gold, whereas all the other girls had more like silver tones. She also comes with this really nice three-quarter length checked coat, which is in a really cool like gray fabric with like shades of blue. Mm -hmm. Like the houndstooth print part here is like blue and black, which is quite nice. And I like this necklace she's wearing. I'm not really sure what it is. It looks like a four-leaf clover. Is that it? Kind of? Yeah. Or well, like, it looks oh, like four, four hearts, hearts, but oh they make God, a four leaf clover. So, so it's four hearts. And I'm going to remove her jacket just so we can take a look at her amazing. Ooh, yeah, I know it's really sleeves. pretty. I have seen photos. So it is this really pretty white lace top that is cropped and it has these like attached sleeves with the ruffles at the bottom. I think it's really nice. And this too is going to pair up really nicely with other garments. She has a faux suede brown skirt and it has this. Like, corseted detail with the gold buttons. I mean, the clothing is quite detailed, regardless yeah, yeah, that yeah. some stuff is printed on, it is really detailed. And then she has these illusioned type velour boots. And yes, there has been some controversy with these as well, because the bottom is like this flocked feeling. Mm -hmm. They are the pumped molds that are just kind of camouflaged in this overall flocking. And then you have the boot part that's like this velour fabric. So again, I don't know realistically like what they could have done for it they to They could have just made it flocked. The leg as well? Yeah. I would have just done a flocked fabric. I would have just done a flocked boot. You know, like taking one of the brass yeah, boots. Yeah, exactly. And then just flocked it and then it would have looked like that. But I guess like the luxurious velour. It's so cute though. It, it is this cute. This doesn't bother me as much as yeah. the, as the, net, the fishlet stockings on. Yeah, Jane. that was a bit rough. I'm going to use the cutter. I'm just going to kind of remove her off the... The hat. So I'll walk you through the second outfit and the accessories before we put it on her. So as we said before, she comes with a lot of gold. 
accessories. So she comes with the standard Bratz brush in gold when the other girls came to silver. So unique. She comes with a gold compact as well, which is different. And then opening it up, she has that lovely light pink inside that matches our beautiful new background. So this is really cute. I like it better in the gold than the silver ones, yeah. to be very honest. I would have liked I don't know why. I don't know. I'm living for it a bit. This is a standard Brad sunglasses with, um, they're kind of in a gold peachy color, which is super cute. Not much to say about the design. And I think they're gonna look good. She has a very kind of like, in her second outfit, a very like boss lady going on. Like, I own 51% of this yes, company. Versus on her first outfit, it's more as like, I'm being cute in Soho in New York for the weekend. But uh, that's where I'm vibing with. She also has a lovely kind of briefcase satchel that's in a faux leather and a deep brown or a burgundy? Is it a burgundy? It feels like brown. It feels like brown. It feels like brown. It doesn't look like I mean, brown. It, like, it feels like it brown. It feels like it's brown. I'm so it. it's brown and then it has this lovely like metal detailing at the bottom. That means it can also open by Velcro and you can put the accessories inside. It's a really nice size and I think it's really cute. I'm excited to try on this second yeah. outfit. I do love it. I think it's gonna look like really look good. I don't know. And then the fringe on the skirt is a little like, it feels a little out of place for the type of suit that it is. Yeah. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't know. know. We'll see. We might live for it. Who knows? I love the length of it. I think it's quite lovely. It's, that it's, it's your favorite skirt. length. It's your favorite length. Oh my god, it looks amazing though. I think there's a lot less to this outfit compared to the, the other, other girls, girls. For sure. But I think that it's it's really nice and it's it's in its own way. I love the details in the blazer especially. I mean, look at this little like cleavage that we're getting from her. It's really cute and I love the little bell sleeves that have the slits. Super cute detail. The skirt is short and has this little frame detailing at the bottom which is quite nice. And then you have the pumps that are in this like nude color with the black toes. Mm -hmm. I think it's really nice. I do feel like something's missing from it, maybe. Like, bring her, give her yeah, the bag? Yeah, maybe with the bag. Yeah, but then the bag is, like, not really a bag that you can, like... I don't know. She would... Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, a lot of this works with the... It's, like, the outfit itself works with it, but, like, it's not... There's not a lot of mix and matching in this. Yeah, I feel like she's the Even one the glasses don't go. I feel like she's the one that's lacking the most in terms of, like, mixing and matching, but, like, none of this goes. No, none of this goes. So we're gonna have to probably play around with it because we can get her to some. I love the outfit though. I just think that no, for a second great outfit, pieces. The, uh, yeah, there are great pieces. I have some ideas though with some other Brad's clothes that I have that can look really cool to elevate this look. Yeah, very excited. If I had to rank them, I would rank top, top, top one would be Sasha, Jade, Chloe, and then yes, yes man. And I'm so sad, and I'm I have. For Such me, for I have to say it would be Jade, just because I love the overall aesthetic of the doll. Mm -hmm. And she has, I think, the most pieces that you can kind of mix and match. Mm -hmm. Then it would be Yasmin, just... Really? Okay, aside from maybe, like, not having as many pieces to match, I think that her face is beautiful. Uh, but I'm not talking about that, I'm saying as what oh, you in got, terms of like, like, in what you got as, as the package. As a package? Like, yeah, not what you Jade, can do. Yeah, Sasha, Chloe, and then Yasmin. Okay, well, we're Just because, like, they have... Actually, Chloe surprisingly has a lot, I'm, like, looking at her, but... Actually, Chloe has a lot of pieces, because what I like about hers is that... Mm -hmm. Once you strip away the leather, you have more like soft denim looks, mm -hmm. and then you can mix and match a lot. Yeah. Imagine the lace top with the Yeah, you see, like we have a lot of stuff that we can work yeah, with, so we're gonna nice. have to kind of play around but... with the girls. They all share clothes. We're gonna be able to mix and match a bunch of stuff, so that's cool. All right, guys, so that wraps up our last Collector Bratz doll review of Yasmin. We are so happy to have all four now in the collection. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe to our channel, and follow us on Instagram at Mick and Mike, and we'll catch you guys in our next review. Later.